divvy sidechains is not like like uh, Cosmos. It's, it's, it's not so bad to move funds around the Cosmos universe, but try to get to another blockchain. Um, and that's you cannot. That's kind yeah. of, you can't. Um, and so that's kind of a neat part about the the, the Divi sidechains is those sidechains, if another blockchain deploys that technology, you can get there safely in the same safe way. Exactly. I think, I think that's uh, it's a fundamental difference and it, it fundamentally clears up all of the uh, these issues about bridges getting hacked and, and funds getting lost billions of dollars. It's, it happens so often now. It's on chain. There is no escrow situation. Uh, people can use escrow functions where they participate together in it, or maybe it's even a, a larger group. Maybe it's a business, maybe something else. But when you participate with on-chain and the ownership, sovereign ownership, the permissions of what you do, you are you enter into the contract knowing you have full ownership until something executes or something changes, where, again, smart contracts don't offer that same um, um, I would say standing is probably, you know, you say legal standing. I have a legal standing. I have an ownership. I have a standing here. Once you give it over to the smart contract, it's whatever's in the contract. Yeah. On, yeah. On an that, it, we're back to the centralized kind of world again. Yeah.